to the one person in the entire world whose favorite Pokemon was Stantler. I dedicate this video to you because you are finally getting some. Yo, what's up guys? You got Pokemon here. Today, we are going to be talking about how the four new Pokemon that we have seen could actually be good in 6v6 standard. Now, normally at this part of the week, I'd probably be having a Gen 1, 2, 3, or 5 buffs video. But because I'm busy moving, I figured might as well do this. It's also pretty topical. So, I'm really excited. Obviously, we got uh, Pokemon Legends news the other day as well as the Pokemon DP remakes. And we're not going to be focusing at all on the DP remix at all. And we're going to be focusing on the Legends stuff and what we got. Now, the way battling is done in that game, completely different, right? But I'm still going to take this as a, a normal 6v6 type of thing. And that this Pokemon, if we can't battle with it normally in that game, we can later on. So if you do enjoy this type of video, make sure you leave a like. Leave a comment on your thoughts on how these Pokemon can be good. And of course, make sure you subscribe. But without further ado, let us get right... Yo... I really can't get over the fact that we have a, a Stantler evolution. I, I truly cannot. I'm, I'm so happy for you. I truly am happy for you. Like seriously, I'm actually so happy for you. I know, you know, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna call you Santa. <laughs> I'm gonna call you Santa because I don't know your name, but I know you're out there and I know that you, you love this Stantler and it finally has something. So my favorite Mon out of the four that we are shown is definitely Basculegion. I think that Basculegion is one of the hardest names. It is one of the hardest names we have for a Pokemon. Its design is sick, and I've always called Basculin a poor man's Barrascuta. Yep, that's I always did it. Ever since Basculin was made in Gen 5, I called it the Gen 8 poor man's Barrascuta. So, Basculin was basically a poor man's Barrascuta, where it did have adaptability, and we're going to be using what we know here, and we're going to be going through, and then I'll be giving, you know, guesstimates on stats and stuff, but also uh, giving you guys, again, movesets and what it could actually have and also realistically what it might have uh, that will make it better. So, Basque Legion, uh, we're going to read its stuff real quick, but it's water and ghost, obviously, so evolving from the water type. And, you know, it's a really dark Pokemon. Basculin is the Hisui region, in the Hisui region, can evolve into this Pokemon. This evolution occurs when a Basculin is possessed by the souls of other Basculin from its school that cannot withstand the harsh journey upstream. So dead Basculin basically possessed the alive one. And Basculin fights together with these souls, which attacks opponents as if it were a will of its own. And this says right here, tremendous unflagging physical ability. That is like really, really like, they were, they made sure you knew that this mom was tough. And that gives me a lot of hope when it comes to this Pokemon. Um, what do you mean reduce motion? What is that? It's not like so 40 ride. The moment this Pokemon says the animosity, it will become enraged and attack relentlessly until the enemy is defeated. This Pokemon gains power from the souls, possessing it, letting it swim on and on without tiring. So if you guys don't know anything about Basculin, it's a Pokemon that never evolved, right? It's a, it's a piranha, right? That's Is Basculin a piranha? I would have to say it's a piranha. I'm going to say it's a piranha. If it's not a piranha, I'm sorry. But his literal name is Basculin. Baskillin. So... Basculin is a Pokemon with adaptability. Now, it does have Reckless and it does have Mold Breaker, but ignore all that because the key ability is adaptability. And adaptability makes it stab two times instead of 1.5 times. So this is really key because it has base 92 attack and base 80 special attack. So it can actually get away with running uh, physical movesets with Liquidation or Waterfall, depending, uh, as well as special movesets with uh, Specs Hydro Pump, which are really cool too for breaking through uh, physical walls like Miltank in the tier that typically Basculin was in. Like, you know, NUPU, untiered. Uh, right now, I believe it's ZU by actual usage. Um, but or or actually just yep it's ZU so it's technically PU but it's ZU so very forgettable Pokemon however this Pokemon did not evolve until today now Basculin has really decent speed at base 98 and has priority Aqua Jet as base 92 attack so if this Pokemon that it's evolving to is a tremendous unflagging physical ability it's 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 a really strong Pokemon I think we can infer now Game Freak will lie the hell to they will they will lie they will. Vikavolt supposed to be the fastest thing in existence. That boy base, 43 speed. They will lie to us. So we gotta always take this with a grain of salt. But forget that, man. I, I put more than salt on my food. I am Puerto Rican and Italian. So we got the uh, the Basilin right here. I'm going to assume that it is going to have more attack. Now, just to show you some Pokemon that evolved and how they ended up doing things. So let's look at Linoon real quick. Linoon. Uh, we'll look at Linoon stats real quick, but it's base 78, 70, and this is just this is the other Linoon. We're just going to look at this Linoon, right? Because this is Galarian Linoon, the current one we have. 
Uh, and then let's look at Obstagoon comparatively. So before Light Moon was a fully evolved Pokemon, this is basically what it had. Uh, they have regular Light Moon as well, which we can see right here. But you see base 70 attack, nothing, it's the exact same stats, right? And then they went Obstagoon and it basically got uh, plus 100 stats. Like it, it basically, let me put National Dex for this, that way we can actually see everything. But it basically got one uh, plus 100 in stats, right? Because you have Obstagoon right here. It's uh, BST total is 520 and this one's BST total is 420. Right? So most Pokemon that got evolutions or forms have some huge increase. So I am going to infer, or, or, or excuse me, I'm going to assume, rather, that this Basculin is going to have somewhere in at least plus 60 or plus 80 in stats, maybe even plus 100. Uh, and it might be thinking, no, that's too much. But the whole thing behind this Pokemon is that it's a damn demon, right? It is so strong. It is crazy. And let's see how we can make it good. So let's assume that from base 92, this goes up to... 130 130 i think is uh, pretty decent or even 110 right i'd be okay with 110 now basque legion could be good if it had 110 120 uh, attack and it kept that adaptability i think adaptability is very key because what we don't want is for basque legion to evolve from basculin but lose adaptability and even if it has higher base attack from 92 let's say to 120 or 110 it is overall weaker because of the way adaptability hits now I think there's no way it loses adaptability. However, there are Pokemon that evolve and then, you know, they get different abilities as they evolve. For example, you know, uh, Nidoran, uh, Nido, Nidorino into, or Nidoran, excuse me, Nidorino in, uh, into the Nido Kings. Got, they go from like Hustle to Sheer Force type of stuff. And uh, obviously, uh, those are just like, you go from Gly, uh, Gligar has immunity, whereas Gliscor has to uh, Poison Heal. So, or toxic or whatever poison you so like abilities do change but i feel like in this case and the way they described how this thing goes on basically the dead pokemon adapted right like they said nah nah we are climbing that stream and you know what we're gonna help you because we ain't about to lose you so we're gonna possess you and i think this possessing thing is uh this possession thing and possessing an object or po uh, possessing a basket is actually really important too because it leads me to you know, besides base 110 or around the base 110 area, but also with adaptability, another way we could do it is if it had Poltergeist. And um, Poltergeist is an attack that very many ghost Pokemon have besides Mimikyu and I think Dragapult. Those are like the key ones that come to mind that don't have it, that should have it, but maybe be too much for them. Uh, so we give Basket Legion Poltergeist, we give it somewhere around base 100, base 110, base 120 attack. And we keep adaptability with it. That's basically all that Pokemon needs in order to be good. I would go so far to say that that Pokemon is even going to have better defensive stats. And I think they're going to trade speed for it too. Now, they don't have to. They don't have to trade speed. It just gains power letting it swim on and on without tiring. Like, it maybe, maybe it won't even trade that much speed. I don't think it'll be like a, a Tora Cat to Incineroar. And I could be completely wrong. Like, I mean, it looks like it's decently fast. I'll be honest. Like, I'd compare this mod to a, a Barrascuta. I really would. So maybe it'll even be faster and maybe it actually won't be as bulky as I'm thinking it is. But I, I, I kind of feel like, you know, if you have all these souls, you have them coming for you and everything, they, they're going to give this Pokemon a, li a little bit more bulk, at least a little bit more. Uh, more attack and, and I would say more speed. But all it really needs is adaptability. Uh, this speed tier, I'm going to be completely honest, base 98 is actually completely fine. Like if it can retain a 324 speed stat. If it can retain a 324 speed set, that is really important because you see our Shifu. Our Shifu has a base 97 speed stat, right? Tapu Lele, Tapu Lele is, is base, uh, what is it, 90. Um, and then you have, uh, or excuse me, base 95, excuse me. Tapu Lele is base 95. So these are all strong Pokemon and uh, they get away with their speeds here, which you might have seen as something like, ah, it's not that impressive, but it's good because you're above relevant threats. Right, so you're faster than Lele, which is cool. You throw it with your ghost stab. Now, they can mess up and not give this thing a physical ghost move, or maybe they'll give it like. I think we need more physical ghost moves because we have Shadow Bone, which Marowak gets, and then we have Poltergeist, and then we have Shadow Claw, and then we have Shadow Punch. No way this thing is getting Shadow Punch. Um, it already has super power, so I don't think it needs close combat, as people love to to make fun of me for trying to add that to Pokemon. Um, like, but I mean, maybe they could take some from XD, get out of darkness and give it like shadow rush or whatever. Basically just a, a base 80, a base 90 physical ghost move that something can abuse. That's better than shadow punch. That is decent for the, but yeah, like I said, it can retain its base 98 speed. If it goes a little bit faster, completely fine. It can retain its base 98 speed to be good. All it needs is base 110 attack 
and adaptability still. Base 100 attack would still do it too. It doesn't need a crazy amount of attack to be good because Water and Ghost is incredible offensive typing. It is very hard to switch into because what are the resistances to Water, right? You got Water, right? You got Grass, right? You got Dragon. So you have these resistances to Water. Those are the top three that come to mind. Um, maybe it's, it's late. I'm, I'm, I've been packing and moving stuff and driving, so I apologize. There's most likely more I'm, I can't think of them in my head right now but um, you have these resistances to water right and what's neutral on all of them ghost and how strong is poltergeist base 110 power right and coming off of adaptability I think that this thing has potential to be a, a better crowd on almost almost a better crowd on and uh, because it's faster now Obviously, if you look at Crawdon's freaking stats, that thing has base 120 attack and adaptability. But, and this thing excels under Trick Room and it excels. And this is and this is actually a pretty good, uh, a good comparison because Corfish actually has adaptability too. So please, please, when you evolve it, keep it with adaptability. But uh, and Crawdon's very hard to switch into, and it has, its speed is like 209 at neutral max, right? It's not good at all in the slightest, but it's just above those bulky Pokemon so you can get off heads. Now imagine being just above those fast, strong Pokemon as well, that are those relevant threats. So that's enough, right? Base 100, literally base 100 would be enough. Base 110 would be enough, as long as it has and retains that adaptability, because all you need is Poltergeist and Liquidation. And your other moves you can do, you can Aqua Jet for priority. Uh, Shadow Sneak would be cool honestly shadow sneak would be pretty cool uh for this pokemon it'd be nice to be able to knock out relevant pokemon like dragapult as well from full which i'm sure you do with a choice band adaptability and all that stuff as well uh, and then you could do like your last move either aqua jet or flip turn um it also has psychic fangs as well but i don't think you honestly need to be able to hit tox effects super effectively when you have stab adaptability poltergeist so this was be basically what this mod needs in order to be better uh, retain adaptability is the key one have a speed tier basically right where it's at, right? Right where it's at or higher. And its attack doesn't even need to move that much. Because even Basculin would be crazy if it was Water Ghost offensively. Um, and if its special attack raises up too, obviously that's okay as well. Uh, Shadow Ball just needs to be added to its move pool, for sure. Like it needs to be able to learn Shadow Ball or some sort of Ghost special attack that's good. But that's all it needs for that mod. So Basket Legion. One of the mods I'm most excited for. I spent way too much time on that Pokemon, so I apologize. I'll be a little bit faster for the others. We got Stantler evolving into uh, Wordier. So, I believe it's how you pronounce it, Wordier. Uh, but <laughs> I, I read a comment on my video the other day. It's like, yo, I feel like they just add Psychic Pokemon, uh, Psychic type to whatever mod they want when they want to when they want to do something to it, when they don't know what typing they want to do to it. And, you know, I kind of feel that. But Stantler also it already had, like, some thing in the decks with using Psychic Powers, so it made sense for this. But... In the Sui region, Stantler can evolve into Wordier. This Pokemon has been treasured since a long time. It grows much longer when it evolves, and garments of the fur shed from its beard, tail, and legs are highly prior prized for their top-notch protection against the cold. So right here, I think we can already just, uh, at least we can guess that it's going to have the ability for a coat. Now, that is okay. That is okay for Stantler, right? Or for a Wordier. And I'm not even going to talk about Stantler being with an Aviolite or an Intimidate or whatever, being in lower tiers or even in, in Little Cup and Basculin being in Little Cup because I'm always going to be a demon in Little Cup. Again, this is assuming things go the same way. Um, but so that we can and, and we can we can guess that Fur Coat or Fur Coat looks like it'd be something that this Pokemon has, which I think would be pretty decent for it. Now, um, it emits psychic energy from the orbs on its antlers. Using the black orbs at the base of its antlers, this Pokemon generates and unleashes psychic energy powerful enough to distort space. So this mod is a, a powerful psychic type. Where Deer searches out safe paths by using its antlers like antenna, running at the head of its herd and leading young Stantler. So, uh, they're powerful enough to distort space. Like, they're talking about Dialga Palkia levels, or Palkia levels of, uh, like, like psychic type attacks, which is insane. But uh, I think Fur Coat is completely fine. Now, Stantler is its basic Pokemon, and uh, Stantler has base 465 BST, which is a pretty high BST for its own Pokemon, right? And it has base 95 attack, base 85 special attack, base 85 speed. Uh, so for this to be pretty decent, I think Intimidate should stay. I think Intimidate would be really good, but I think that Fur Coat would be the nasty one for it, right? And um, 
it let's let's look at what it has for special moves because i i focused on physical because that was base 95 in the other video but uh, I think special as well. So first off, if we're, we're gonna go special first and then we're talking about it, but Calm Mind is a pretty big one for this Pokemon, uh, especially if it has Fur Coat because it already has that the defenses and uh, it's able to take physical hits, period, right? So we have Calm Mind here uh, and I want Fur Coat over Fluffy. Fluffy has drawbacks, I like Fur Coat. Uh, so Calm Mind it already has. Now it's Normal and Psychic. So we already have Psychic as its move that it can have or Psy Shock, which is already a good stab. It's, it's base 90 power, does not miss, 16 PP. It's good has a chance to lower spit off like it's it's a good move right and when you keep going uh standard doesn't have too much more to work with right you have thunderbolt there and then there was energy ball as well um there was thunderbolt energy ball and obviously the uh the psychic um did i see hyper voice on this thing i don't believe i saw hyper voice yeah so this mod is gonna be really weird because i think that if it wants to be like a high tier really good pokemon uh it should have some type of ground coverage on the special side. It already has Earthquake, it has Bulldoze, right? So it has physical ground, it even has Jump Kick. So if it can learn Earth Power, I think that'd make a big difference for a special attacking one, right? And even if it's special attack, like, let's say it has this coverage, Combine, Thunderbolt, let's say Earth, let's let's assume this is Earth Power, right? Earth Power Psychic. This is really solid coverage. This is really solid coverage. Um, you're still, you know, losing 1v1 to Feral Thorn, kind of? Because, uh, I mean, Sap Sipper could still be a thing if they really really wanted to uh, but you're still losing 1v1 to feral thorn right so it's not like overly broken but you have that psychic stab to threaten pokemon like relevant pokemon like talk specs it's still strong versus pokemon like Lanterns. if you have for a coat it's the same thing so uh giving it that base 100 special attack anywhere anywhere between like 100 110 would be completely fine and i'm trying to be fair with it uh, uh in terms of physical attacking now, the thing about Settler on its physical side is it has only like two moves to boost its physical attack. It has Curse, which I mean, you don't always want to lower your your speed. However, it might work if it has like a Fur Coat Rest Talk type of set. But it has Curse and it also has Work Up. Um, so, I would love like a sort of Swords Dance or Bulk Up type of thing for this thing when it comes to physical. But in terms of physical moves, it already has what it needs, right? It has Earthquake. Uh, we saw the return of return in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl remake, so maybe it'll be there too, but some sort of normal stab as well. Uh, and then in terms of like, let's say they had the bulk up or whatever, uh, let's, say, let's assume it's bulk up, right? Uh, in terms of physical stab and you want to go psychic, it needs to have a psychic move that's not Zen Headbutt. I'm sorry, Zen Headbutt, Psycho Cut, they're just, they're just bad. They're just, this is, it's just bad. It's the only reason this move is used on Mega Metacham is because Mega Metacham is broken, right? There's a distinct difference between base 100 attack with pure power. This Pokemon attack is doubled, right? And then even if this thing had base 110 without pure power, there's a distinct difference. So uh, whether it be Psychic Fangs or Psychic Horn or its own signature, like, like yeah, literally Psyche Horn or Psychic Shock or whatever it is, not Psy Shock. Someone mentioned Psy Shock. No, you're, you're thinking about a special attack that hits on defense. I'm thinking Photon Geyser levels of things, right? Where if I'm a physical attacker, it will attack on the physical side. It will be a physical attack. You know what I mean? Like, but obviously not Photon Geyser because that's Negrasma's move. So something like that to be able to do it. In terms of speed, I would love for it to have, again, anything, uh, like I'm very generous with these. I think that anything around the base 95 to 105 area is completely fine especially with what we have i don't think strong pokemon that are bulky in a sense with potentially fur coat need to be that fast in order to be able to get some things off because in this case if it's evolving from 62 65 i i, I could assume that it gets like bulkier like this it gets bigger it gets stronger it says it's it literally describes its fur as um as highly prized for the top knox protection against the cold so it's 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 sturdier then uh, I really wish it was an ice or a steel type, man. Uh, then this regular Stantler. So I'm um, hoping again, special attack anywhere around the base 100 area, attack anywhere around the base 100, 105, speed anywhere around the base 95 to 100 will do enough with this type of move. Yeah, it would be completely fine. This would be very usable. You can even use Jump Kick too if you want that super effective against certain things. Like I can see myself pairing like in, in the future meta game because I have no idea how Let's Go or Let's Go uh, Legends of Arceus is gonna go. In fact, I didn't even think that it had any multiplayer or anything until because they said it was a single player. Like 
specifically until they mentioned that you could trade with friends so if I can trade with friends maybe I can battle with friends of course battling would be different and everything is gonna be different I saw the Pokemon have a million HP and things like that too but that's all Stantler really needs right or uh, where do you really needs uh, just just a little bit just really a little bit to you get that so I have Arcanine here because we have uh, the Growlithe form now Growlithe is rock and fire now <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> there are the rock and fire types that come to mind are uh, Macargo, Gary, Macargo, which is not very good. Even with recovery, even with shell smash, it's not very good. And Colossal, which is only good because of Dynamax. Um, and I guess heavy duty boots when it comes to singles, but it's not even good with that. But it can rabbit spin, it can spike, it can do a lot, but it's not. there's a lot of Pokemon that can do it better, right? Like there's, if I want a stealth rocker, that's going to lose to Earthquake, I'd rather use Heatran because I get a lot more resistances by having that Steel Typing over that Rob Typing. Um, so, you're going to evolve, we're going to assume you're going to evolve into Fire, Rock, Arcanine. Now, there is obviously the big one that everybody said, and I, I knew it, but I didn't want to mention it in the video. But, uh, because, I feel like when I say things, they don't happen. <laughs> I don't want it to happen. Now, this boy... Growlithe has a rock head. What does rock head remind you of? That's right, rock head. So, rock head is the ability where this Pokemon does not take recoil from recoil. I, just, I guess you can't read on that mon, so we'll look at rock head here. But Pokemon does not take recoil damage besides struggle, life orb, and crash damage. Crash being like high jump kick and jump kick type of thing. Struggle, obviously, and then life orb. So, Arcanine with rock head. This is. Arcanine stats, I doubt, would change much, right? I'm assuming they'd stay very similar. In fact, I would go as far to say that the only stat we'll see different, or like the only change we'll see, is the same thing we saw with Nine Tails. You see right here, Nine Tails is basically the exact same thing, except they took out some attack from Alolan and they put it into speed. They took out Nine and they put it into speed. I think the only we're going to see a very minimal difference. I that's what I believe because it's a different form. So I believe we're going to see a very, very, very minimal difference when it comes to that because the base stat total will stay the same. Right? When I remember, let's put Weezing. Base stat total stays the same, right? Let's put Muck, who's not in the game currently, but yep. Base stat total stays the same. So we're going to, and even the stats in this one's case, but we're, I think we're going to see a very minimal difference. And honestly, I think that is just fine for Arcanine. Literally. Speed is good. What we don't have on Rock, our rock what we don't currently have on our Rock and. And I know. Uh, well, I'll say it's something else that I'm trying to because I'm cutting myself off, but we don't currently have on our rock and fire types our speed, right? So, Macargo, I already mentioned, has has like recovery, which is cool. It has decent stats besides its HP, right? Like, its HP is really holding its back, but it has recover, and it has shell smash. I mean, it has earth power as well, it has ancient powers, flamethrower, whatever it needs is coverage. You get meteor beam? I feel like you learned meteor beam. Are you even in the game? I don't think you're in the game. Schmet. <laughs> um, and then obviously, like we don't have a speedster in terms of fire and rock offensively. So if it does have rock head and it has flare blitz, give it head smash too. Give it head smash too. This would be insane, right? This would completely mitigate the uh, the insane amount of weaknesses that this Pokemon now has because of it being fire and rock obviously you know it resists fairy and has you know it has good resistances it has decent resistances too but it has a lot of weaknesses and a lot of common ones like water and, and ground and and being neutral to grass is so whack too like you can't even check Rillaboom the same way you did before you probably take a million from that that wood hammer well I mean wood hammer probably kills you but like from grassy glide probably too easy to a KO so Arcanine has good stats, right? So we, we can assume that its stats are not going to change too much. Maybe we'll see a little difference. I'm okay with it knocking a little bit of speed. I'm okay with it knocking a little bit of... I'm okay with it swapping its attack and special attack, whatever. But the rock head on that version of Arcanine would be so much for us. Flare Blitz. You don't... Head Smash with rock head. You, every single Pokemon that resists Flare Blitz is going to get cooked by Head Smash. Bump wild charge covers. This is all you need, man. Extreme speed just to pick off some stuff. Shoot, you can give it a cellar rock if you want. I mean, it already has extreme speed, so I don't see why it couldn't. Maybe it wouldn't get extreme speed and it get a cellar rock instead because it's a fast rock priority move. So like something like this would be completely fine. Same stats would be completely fine, and rockhead. That's all it needs to be 
very good. To be a choice ban threat, to be a, a life orb threat, because this will be the first time that we have a head smasher that I think they gotta give it to Aerodactyl, but that's fast, right? Well, let's look at the head smash as a move. But that's fast, that also has stab and they can take advantage of it, right? Like Hydreigon is fast, but I'm saying stab and can take advantage of it. Now, Heligo is fast, but it has base 53 attack, so it can't really take advantage of it. So, uh, I guess the other Ar Archaeops, but again, can't take advantage of it because it has the fetus. So, what I said stands. What I said stands. It'd be the first time we'd have a fast stab mon that can actually take advantage of it without, you know, being weakened the next time. I mean, Archaeops uses it on, like, Focus Ash leads. I mean, I, I did that in Gen 5. I made that set in Gen 5. So, I don't care what anybody says. I made that on PO in Gen 5, and I got to whatever on the ladder with that on a team. It was great with my favorite team. But, um, yeah. So, this is all Arcanine needs. Same stats, maybe a slight difference. Who cares? If it has this. If it has Rocket, if it has Head Smash, it has Flare Blitz. I mean, it will keep Flare Blitz, but if it has Head Smash, all it needs. Don't even need to sell a rock. It can keep the rest of it normal movable. Nothing else. Because the damage you'll be doing is insane. And last but not least, we have Braviary. So, this version of Braviary is a Psychic Flying type. Again, just be adding the Psychic types. So, when Ruffling involves in the Sui region, uh, they become a Sui and Braviary. In the winter, the Pokemon flies in from so farther north. It's larger than previous discovery form and tends to live alone rather than in flocks. So, it's larger. Um can imbue its eerie screeches with Psychic Power to generate powerful shock waves. It then uses its sharp talons to tear at and seize prey weakened by these shockwaves. Apparently, it can also use its psychic power to sharpen its sixth sense and enter a trance that boosts its physical abilities. So I wonder if they'll give it like some sort of psychic omni boosting thing. That'd be interesting, uh, or something like a bulk up for psychic types. I, I wonder. But um, again, let's compare Braviary. This is regular Braviary, right? Base 100 HP, HP is gonna stay the same, right? Attack, speed, rest is pretty decent, pretty decent overall. Now, this one still needs to retain close combat. That is for sure. This one still needs to retain close combat. Sorry, I got interrupted. But again, uh, I'm not a fan of psychic flying types. Like, I mean, we got Articuno, we got Zatsu, we, we don't, we got Swoobat, like we don't need, we don't need more. But also, I'm, not, I'm really not a fan of special psychic flying types because they always miss out on certain coverage. Uh, so I don't want this thing to be a special attacker, but if it does, if it's shockwaves or psychic power, I would love for it to have, um, you know how uh, Freezing Glare from Articuno, let me show you. You know how Freezing Glare from Articuno has a 10% chance to freeze? I would love for it to have, like, if it was special, um, a psychic type attack that could also paralyze as well. So it's so shock waves. So like, think of that as give you a shock. So what do you know? What's, what thunderbolts and stuff do? They shock you, uh, and they can paralyze you. So, but in terms of being physical, what it needs to be good uh, to be a good psychic type is it needs it needs good stat that's not Zen Headbutt. It already has Zen Headbutt. It already has Zen Headbutt. Zen Headbutt is so bad. Now, granted, it does have sheer force and. Zen Headbutt's actually one of the few... Bravier doesn't ever take advantage of Sheer Force. They're almost always defiant. But, because Sheer Force only boosts like one move on its whole moveset, which is like Rock Slide, if it even runs that. Like the standard Braviary would run uh, Close Combat Return, if Return's in the game. Uh, U-Turn, and if it's like Choice Scarf, um, Brave Bird, right? Obviously. So th th this would be standard. This would be standard Braviary. So some of this is fine. Literally keeping this, but giving it something, some type of physical, uh, whether it's a physical shockwave or psychic power. If it, it then uses its sharp talons to tear at and seize prey weakened by these shockwaves. So if it has some sort of physical move, because its stats are going to stay relatively the same. I would assume that its stats would stay relatively the same. If they swap its attack and special attack, I'd only be okay with it if, if its move was better. Obviously it gets psychic and it's move pull, but... I just think I don't know if it'd still be able to learn Heat Wave because Heat Wave is something that it gets um, from like technical records or whatever, uh, if I'm not mistaken, or is it TM's technical records? Maybe it's, maybe it's even like Move Tutors. I don't even remember how it gets Heat Wave. Uh, but it would need to have. It needs to retain Close Combat. That's 100%. Close Combat Superpower. It needs to retain Close Combat Superpower because Psychic and, and, and Flying is just so. It's not the greatest. It is not the greatest. It's, you miss out on a lot, right? Brave Bird is very strong, and 
psych Brave Bird and like your psychic moves are damn near hitting the same type of Pokemon, right? They're basically hitting the same thing, right? The only difference is one of them is hitting electric types for not very effective damage for the most part, right? Um, but you know, uh, and I guess one of them is hitting rock types, but depending on the rock type, the main rock type is what? Tyranitar. So you're still not able to do that. That's why you need that close combat to be able to break through, but it just needs that. And, and this one's a very short one, but it, it seriously just needs a psychic beak or a, a, a physical psychic type attack that it can take advantage of. I would even say similar to like Aura Wheel in a sense, like uh, Aura Wheel is extremely good. Uh, and it uses Eerie Screeches with Psychic Power to generate powerful shockwaves. I'm sure it gets like something like static, uh, Psychic Shock. I have no idea what attack this is. It almost looks like Brave Bird, but it, the color is wrong. So I doubt it's Brave Bird. So maybe this is a physical Psychic type attack that maybe lowers its defenses or or ups its stats, and again, that's why I'm thinking about Aura Wheel, right? Because it's psychic power, apparently it can use its psychic power to boost, sharpen six sets and enter a trance that boosts its physical abilities. So maybe it goes for an attack and actually gets an, an up raise or like a raise in like attack as it attacks. And if it actually has something like that, that'd be crazy too. So whatever psychic filler move here, that's not stupid Zen Headbutt. But if it retains sheer force and Zen Headbutt's only physical and it keeps its 123, I guess that's fine too. But at the end of the day, I'm not that excited about this Pokemon particularly because I need to see what they're doing with that whole moveset itself. But something like this would be completely fine for it. Arcanine for sure needs this. Stantler needs, again, better than Zen Headbutt, but Zen Headbutt's always there. And all this mod needs is Poltergeist and to retain adaptability and they'll be fine. But thank you everybody for watching. Let me know your thoughts. Uh, I will definitely do my best to give you the buffs video next week. And uh, yeah, unless we get some more Pokemon news, let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to talk about. I would love to see how you guys are buffing. Tell me what you want to do with Bravery, because again, Psychic Flying is just so... It only works on Zatu because Zatu has Magic Bounce, right? Articuno has Recover, but even though... Look how low Articuno is. Like, these Mons are... They're not used for a reason. Right? They're not used for a reason. So, even with Heavy Duty Boots. And of course, the metagame is going to be completely different, but I'm also looking past this generation. I'm looking past, I'm looking at the next generation, which maybe I'll have all the Pokemon, and maybe we'll be able to use them. Of course, these are like ancient variations of the Pokemon, but man, I'll be able to use them eventually, right? Like, I put them in Pokemon home, we'll see what happens. But uh, I'm hoping. But yeah, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.